Hey everyone, welcome back to Open Hybrid. Our last guest is a star on the rise who is surely making a name for himself in music. He's been uh, making some noise over the last few years as a social media butterfly with his viral TikTok videos and entertaining blogs via his YouTube channel. Uh, growing up as a kid in a musical family, it was pretty much inevitable, we'll say, for him to be engulfed in music. And now, more than ever, he's wasting no time time working on his craft for what is sure to be a show-stopping debut project. Here to share more, we welcome singer and songwriter, Jay Michael. Hello and welcome. Hi, what's going on? What is going on? Let's kick it off with your whole viral experience on TikTok and how that even rolled out. Let's start there. Uh, I started posting on TikTok literally like right before the pandemic really hit that's when my first video was posted i can't remember what i posted but whatever i posted it did garner some views or whatever um my first TikTok page got about maybe forty thousand followers and my second one the current one i have now is about fifty thousand somewhere around that line um i want to say my first viral video had to it had to be something with my mom something around that sort but yeah i was always going viral on TikTok, um and that's kind of how it really started right okay so let's talk about the music style the genre and i guess why you have now uh released your first single and um and then the 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 aspect of your style too because your style is very interesting as well even though you look straight laced today <laughs> thank you uh, <laughs> <laughs> my, um, my music style is more R&B, um, soulful. Uh, I like music that I like to write music that has meaning. Um, anything that I write, it's a story behind it. Uh, my style, I I don't know. It's it's kind of all over the place. I dress how I feel. Um, sometimes it's out there. Sometimes it's not. It's it's kind of all over the place. I pull inspiration from the craziest things. Uh, so who makes your costumes? Because I, I saw a performance of you wearing this top that looked like it had a cape. It was so dope. I was like, oh gosh, who made that? I like that. So it's actually from a, a website called Or2, and that's not how it's actually supposed to be worn. Uh, it's supposed to, how it's originally supposed to be worn, I didn't like it. It's not, it wasn't out there enough for me. So I kind of turned it into like a cape moment. Um, so yeah. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. Yeah. And then uh, in, in your video, the actual video of the song that you're going to be performing for us, um, I, I know you're wearing the full fur, like you're very self-expressed is my point. Yes, yes. Um, it's funny story behind that fur. Um, it's actually my mom's fur. Uh, it's older than me, older than my older brother. He's like in his mid-20s. So yeah, that fur has some history behind it. <laughs> funny and so um in your your music genre and um just basically coming out and su just suggesting that uh the, the support of your loved ones your fan base and the lgbt community like how important was that to the movement of your success uh it was really important you know i had a, i have a lot of support behind me and that's what really pushes me to do what i want to do uh, there's a lot of people who look up to me, which is really surprising to me. Um, I have a lot of people in my DMs like, you know, you you inspired me to, you know, get my nails done or, you know, you're the reason why I'm so outgoing now or your your videos, your vlogs, they help me feel better. You know, that all of that uh, keeps me going and helps me do what I want to do. So. So just out of curiosity, have you always been like that or is this something that you just embraced about yourself, right? Meaning, like, were you always into getting long nails? Uh, your, your nails did like that, and and dressing. Um, uh, I want to say your 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 style of dressing is very. Um, I would have thought you were a fashion designer, right? So, <laughs> and and, and I, I was going to use the term flamboyant, but I, it's more than that. It's not even fem because it's not. You're you're like in between. You're you're like this. Um, it's elegant, but yeah, it's feminine, yet it's kind of masculine. It's 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 yeah. got all these things going on. And and the way you sing is the same thing. It has those elements as well. 
Well, I like to say, um, if anybody asks me to describe my style, I always say it's androgynous. It doesn't have uh-huh. gender. Um, I like, I can wear a crop top with a pair of baggy jeans and I can wear a purse and, you know, I still can make it look masculine yet feminine at the same time. Um, I haven't always been like this. It kind of happened really when I went to college. That's when I kind of just took initiative and was like, look, I'm going to do what I want to do. At this point, I'm pretty much grown. I'm about to be 19. Can't nobody really tell me what to and what not to do. So I started, I got my, I got my first set of nails done for my 18th birthday. After that, it was on a pop from there. I just, they got longer and longer and longer. I started growing them out. Let me see them, let me see them. <laughs> oh gosh, you really go in. <laughs> yeah, I mean like, I just, I love it. It's a way for me to express myself. I'm a very creative person. So um, anyway, I can be creative. I'm on board with it, 10 toes. So, I mean, yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, just going back to what you were saying and, 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 you know, being in college, getting a certain, becoming a certain age and then embracing like how you feel and how you choose to express yourself. And I'm, I'm really bringing it out because in case somebody's watching and they want to understand, like if they're, you know, they're struggling with mixed emotions of what's right and what's wrong. It's like, what is right and what's wrong in your right. world? Um, honestly, there is no right and wrong. <laughs> there is no right and wrong. I feel like uh, you can do whatever you want to do. I mean, you only live once. If you want to get your nails done, go get your nails done. Like, come on now. It's 2022. <laughs> that, to, me, to me, that's like the beauty of living in New York because New York happens to be, for me, one of the places that embraces everything about everyone. I mean, of course, depending on what neighborhood you're in, but on a, on a general note, it's kind of like, ain't nobody paying attention to those little details. Everybody's like, oh, okay. Must be from the village. Must be from the <laughs> exactly (laughs) and 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 so and but there's something to be said when you're able to operate so freely and so I just wondered like when you embraced your freeing yourself as such like what did that open up for you um well I have to say uh my mom is really what helped along this journey because I'm a type of person where if she says okay if she don't care nobody else opinions care okay so when I got my nails done and she was like oh, okay that's different they cute but that's different you know she didn't care so I kept going along with it you know I just she helped me in this journey of just becoming who I am and she's the one I can thank for that I have a great support system and uh I wouldn't be as far far along in this journey of just being as free as I am without really the people in my household, you know? Right. So this beautiful that you're sharing is the people closest to you, right? Because uh, some people could get a little caught up with the hype of, of you know, going viral on social media. And, and you know, that's, that's its own entity. That's its own world. Like, how close do you get to people on social media? I don't get close to people at all in general, actually. Because um, I never really know uh, if they're trying to be cool with me because of who I am or because of who am I, who I'm connected to. Um, this has really been a thing that for as long as I can remember, you know, people just trying to get close to me because who my mom is or what I can bring to the table. Cause the one thing about me, I'm a very good friend. Okay. Um, they definitely help keep me humble. Um, I feel like there's a lot of people who uh, definitely get caught up in a hype and they start to change. Um, I think what also helps is that um, I'm not new to this. Uh, I've been around this for as long as I can remember. I've grown up around somebody who's been on tour and has sold millions of records. So, and you're um, not saying her name. Why are you doing that? To us? Why don't you just say her name? Uh, Coco from SWV. If you didn't know, now you know. <laughs> but um, yeah, I that's grew your up. Mama. That's your yeah, mama. Yeah, that's my mom. You know, I grew up around this. So um. You know, it's not new, you know, and she's humble, so I can't help but to be humble. And I just had to talk with her um, not so long ago. I was like, when this takes off, if you see me starting to change, if you see me getting a big head, I want you to slap me as hard as you can and talk some sense to me because I'd hate for me to start changing and I lose the people around me who are actually down for me. So um, that's big in my book, staying humble and not, and staying true to yourself because that's the most important thing. At the end of the day, none of this stuff really matters. It only matters is you being true to yourself. 
Oh my gosh, so beautifully noted. And what a wonderful way to end this segment before you present for us. Oh my gosh, here's to exercising humility for the rest of our lives. Thank you for those words of encouragement. J. Michael, everyone, singer, songwriter. And uh, well, we want to make sure that you don't go anywhere because when we return, J. Michael's going to perform for us. Don't want to miss. Yes. <laughs> 